Hi guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Carlos. I specialize in window and exterior door replacements. Uh, today is gonna be a good one. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to measure for a pre-hung exterior door. Uh, so that's uh, when you wanna change your whole uh, door system, which means door slab, uh, door jams, brick molding, sill, basically a full door replacement. So there's a couple of things that you're gonna need. One is your trusty tape measure, and the other is something to take notes with, preferably with a diagram showing your door that you're going to be measuring. Uh, now, one thing to keep in mind with this one is that we want to do the drawing from the outside. So that's when you're viewing uh, the door from the exterior as if you're going to be walking into the house. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first measurement we want to take is what is referred to as the frame size. So the frame size we get from the inside um, of the house. I have seen some videos on YouTube where they ask you to remove uh, your interior trim uh, to get that measurement. Now, if, if you don't want to do that or if you're uncomfortable, um, I'm going to be showing you how to go about doing it without removing your trim. So one of the first things we want to do is make a couple of marks. The mark we're making is a three quarter mark from this edge of the door frame. And then you make a mark with your pencil at three quarters. So we do that on this side and we also do it on the other side around the same level. So I have done that already on this side as well. And that's at three quarters. So once you have those marks, what we wanna do is measure from that mark to this mark and take note of that measurement. So here we're at 33 and a half. So that's the width for the frame. Now the reason we're doing a three quarter mark is because if you take this uh, trim off, the frame thickness and the standard size is three quarter at this point. Uh, your door might be slightly bigger, but that's okay. Uh, your new door is going to be at three quarters, most likely, or very close to it. Uh, the next uh, one we, we want to take is the height. So again, I made that three quarter mark on the top edge uh, up here. And if you notice that on this door, we already have finished flooring. So we know that the door drops down a little bit lower than this. So that's fine. You don't really need to worry about that. What we're gonna do is still take the measurement right from the floor to our mark at that top. If you notice, we're at 82 and a quarter, or just under actually 82 and an eighth. Um, but we have to take into consideration that it drops down from the floor. Um, so normally I like to add about a quarter, unless you know that you know, you've been putting a lot of flooring on top of flooring, or if you notice that your door slab is very close to the floor, most likely you need to add a little more. But for now, usually a quarter is all you need to add. Now the next thing we're gonna do is showing you uh, how to measure for your door uh, frame or jam. Basically that's what the door slab will be hanging on, where your strikers are gonna be, your weather stripping. So what we want to do is take the measurement and basically what we're measuring is the thickness of your wall. So we're going from this edge, so just past or just before your interior trim starts to this point here. So on this door, 
we're at six and three eighths. Now, that's not a standard size, but it's very close. The standard size is six and a half. So just take down six and three eighths and uh, wherever you get your door, they can help you find the closest to that. Uh, the other thing we want to measure is for your door sill. Um, so again, most of these are standard sizes, but you just want to make sure you have this information. So again, we measure it in the same spot where we measured our jam. So right before the trim starts, all the way to the edge of the sill. So on this door, we're at eight and a half. So take down the note, that's the sill of the door or the threshold. Uh, next, what we wanna do is take measurements from the exterior, uh, and that's for the finishing uh, from um, your siding, brick, stucco, whatever you have, uh, so you don't have any gaps. So come outside and I'll show you how to do that. Now that we're outside, we can take the exterior measurements and the exterior me measurements are basically from your edge of the brick molding, which is this piece here, uh, to the outside edge on the opposite side. And on this one, we do want to take measurements at three points. A lot of the times they're not the same. So what we want to do is choose the smallest size for, uh, for the measurements. So what we want to do is measure at the top. Here we have 36 and 1 8. And the middle, we have 36 and 1 8. And here at the bottom, we have 36 and 1 8. So we're pretty lucky on this one. We can go with 36 and 1 8. Uh, some are different though, so just uh, make sure you take the smallest measurement. Now, with the brick molding, uh, normally, uh, especially where we work, the, uh, the brick molding is usually about two inches, but it's not uncommon for you to have a much uh, smaller brick molding, uh, wider brick molding, or have boards, depending how the exterior trim of your door is finished. Uh, you need to ensure that you're measuring for that size. Uh, we have seen, you know, boards that go out uh, beyond six inches, so just be aware of that. And then uh, what we want to do is measure the height. So again, the height we're going from uh, brick mold, uh, the top edge, to the bottom edge of your sill or threshold. So on this one, we're at 84 and a half. Now, while we're up here, one thing that I haven't mentioned before is just the, the, uh, the way the door swings. So the way we do it is uh, that when you're viewing your exterior door from the outside, wherever your hinges are, that's basically um, what determines the swing. So if your hinges are on the right, you have a right hand in swing door. If your hinges are on the left, then you have a left hand in swing door. If the door swings out, then you would just have an out swinging door. Um, so that's, uh, that's it. <laughs> okay guys, so that's pretty much uh, all the measurements that you need uh, for you to start looking for a new pre-hung door. Uh, there's a couple of things I did want to mention. Uh, one is hardware. Uh, new doors don't usually come with hardware. So if you're wanting a different look, it might be a good idea to you know, take a look into that. The other is your trim. Uh, if your trim is already damaged or it might possibly get damaged when you're taking it off, it might be a good idea for you to have a few pieces uh, laying around so you have a nice clean look to your new door. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, uh, if you notice the door that we've been showing you uh, leads from an attached garage to the inside of the house, there are certain code requirements for that. So um, if yours is uh, similar, it might be a good idea for you to check with um, wherever you live uh, to make sure you meet those codes. 
Uh, I, again, I want to say thank you uh, for watching. I hope uh, this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for any future uh, videos, uh, comment below. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe, give us a like, and I'll see you on the next one.